Denver police are increasing patrols around public transit after another mass shooting, this time in New York City. A man wearing a gas mask opened fire, throwing a smoke canister aboard a subway train in Brooklyn. In all, 10 people were shot, six more were hurt. We're going to have the latest on the search for a suspect coming up in just a moment. But this comes while lawmakers here are introducing new legislation trying to address mental health and mass shootings. And Angeline McCall joins us now with the details. Yeah, Kim, Tom, the bills would address how to proactively prevent mass shootings and also how to care for victims in the aftermath of these tragic killings. Democratic Congressman Goose is proposing a set of bills that would allow for funding for mental health resources for shooting survivors. It would also provide federal funding for additional additional security measures at active shooter sites like schools, grocery stores and other areas with lots of foot traffic that could become a target. Nagu says these steps should be pursued and apart these steps apart from regulating guns themselves. Those in support of the bills agree, including the Boulder DA and the DA for the 17th Judicial District, which includes Aurora. When I go into a King Supers now or when I go into a grocery store, I look for the exits. And so does my wife, and so do so many people. When I get on, go into the airport, or a plane, or go to a soccer stadium, I keep my eyes open, I look around. When my children are with me, I make sure that I know where we're going to go in case somebody starts shooting. That's not the kind of world I want my children to grow up in. Nagus is co-sponsoring these bills alongside six other Democratic representatives. No Republicans are currently sponsoring those bills, which could make it hard to pass the Senate. Tom, Kim. Yeah, we'll have to see where it goes from here, but it's a conversation starter. All right, thank you, Angeline.